All right, and welcome to another episode of the Midway Region. Oh, nice one, plane coming in there. <laughs> so we're going to start our residential area. I tried to record this stream last night, but uh, couldn't get the bandwidth for some reason. I mean, everything's the same today, but I don't know. So uh, anyway, looks like everything's going fine, not dropping any frames, so... We're gonna we're gonna continue on forge ahead. <laughs> so I took the time yesterday, since I didn't stream it, to uh, run the city for a little bit, get all the approvals taken care of, get the uh, uh, the simoleons from the other cities sent in. So we've got a bunch of money to work with, and we can pretty much do whatever the heck we feel like. <laughs> so. I'm just going to speed it up for just a minute here, get to 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, and we'll get building. Oh, we have some, some good light. Know what we're working with a little bit better. <laughs> if anybody's got a name for this region, you know, let me know in the YouTube comments or in, in the Twitch chat room if you're watching live. Or send me a message on Twitch, or send me a message on Origin, or there's a, like a billion and a half ways to, <laughs> to get a hold of me. <laughs> Pianoke, uh, formerly Sir Notes, uh, <laughs> is. I, I was talking to him earlier, and I said, "Yeah, I'm about to start streaming if my bandwidth holds out." So. Fingers crossed, and he said, yeah, fingers crossed. So far, it seems pretty good, though. I think 11 a.m. is a good time to pause it. I just, I decided to demolish this entire road because I want to do whatever the heck I'm going to do. Which I still haven't decided, but I'm going to do it. Not, not, <laughs> it's not going to be pre-placed, so... I think what I'm going to do here is this one I'm going to bring straight out. Oops. Why are you not grabbing on? Seriously? Okay. Oops. Something, uh, something strange is happening there. That's kind of bullshit if I can't. I mean, it's like, seriously? Maybe I just can't go quite straight in? Yeah, I just can't go quite straight in. Well, that's stupid. And then there's going to be this. This giant pothole. What the fuck? Uh, sometimes... Seriously. I wonder if there's any way I can, like, make that not suck. No matter what, that's going to do. Same thing. Man, that really sucks. Alright. Well, I guess we just have to live with a big pothole. A big break in the road. Like the guys who installed it are idiots. <laughs> oh, man. And then they have to deal with the, uh, the slope issue here, too, apparently. Oops. Where if you have a slope like this... What's going on here? Oh, of course. If you have a slope like this, you pretty much have to draw everything on it in, like, one shot. Other <laughs> otherwise, it, uh, it creates weird lumpiness. That looks okay. And I think we're going to branch off a highway 
We may not even a highway. We're gonna do something going up here, obviously, because we're gonna have stuff up here. And then this one, we're probably gonna bring a highway straight across here. And then make it curve up. I'm trying to make this look good. As well as function, hopefully. So what if we do something like that? Hmm. Not terribly fond of that. Maybe closer up here. Not quite as close. Not, not quite as close as that. Hmm. There we go. I think I like that. And then... Hmm. Maybe I just take it across the, the cliffs like I did the other one. That? That could work. Let's see if I can get a good curve there. I'm kinda guessing. Alright. Usually I like to measure that out, but let's see how that works. Eh, it was pretty close. There we go. Now it'll work. <laughs> What is... hang on, something happened up here. That's kind of weird. Oh, I see. Perfectly. Uh, let's see if we can fix this after the fact. Because I, I like to make this these curves, um, you know, actual ninety degree angles. And that actually isn't too terrible. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna mess with it. It's gonna be too much of a pain in the ass. And I like the little bridge, the corner. Awesome. Let me just have to connect up this end. Oh, seriously, again? Should have left the original roads in place, or at least the stubs. That is seriously, seriously annoying. I wonder if I try it from farther out, if it'll be less of a curve, like that. Maybe it won't be as... Well, that's almost not noticeable. Okay. Well, we can, we can do that. Corner to this. Mm, what's going on up there? There we go. Okay. So first thoughts on this road layout I'm looking at here. Do I want an avenue up here? 
I'm thinking so, and I'm thinking I'm going to actually loop it around. Do a little tunnel or bridge or something here. Yeah. And that way, too, this... Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to think of right-hand turns here, too. Um, so if they're coming into the city this way, which would be most directly from sec uh, industrial sector 2 and whatever we end up doing with this one, which is probably going to be some sort of high wealth deal, then they'll be taking only rights here or here. If they come in from this way, which would be just sector one and some airport cause airports gonna come in both sides um, then we want to make sure that they don't hit a right hand turn or a left hand turn until here so I think what we do is somewhere maybe even like right in here we tee this off come out here and do a trumpet interchange and then when we tee it off, we come up here, and we do the, the, the thing up here. Hello, Leeds, Leeds noobs. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We're going to do right about here. And then really we can do the trumpet part right over here. Yeah. I don't want it to be terribly long, but I want it to have enough space. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four. Eh. Let's bring this out a little bit. And then let's build up this part first. Because we're going to need to go over this road and possibly under the cliff. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just starting it out, Leech Noob. So if you've got, uh, if you've got any um, criticism or, or hints or tips or whatever, <laughs> whatever suggestions for my road, you know, let me know. I'm, I'm always open to them. Or a name for the city, for that matter. Let's see here. Road grade to steep. I want to do something more like this. Roads overlap. Yeah, I'm going to get that from down there. But I can do... Yeah. Oh, oh. Where was that? Come back here. Ah. I can do that. That I sort of do like. Let's see what it looks like when it's placed. Uh, that's a little close. <laughs> I don't think any trucks are going to be making it under there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's fix this real quick. Oh, yes. Well, Leeds Noobs, there's actually two different schools of thought on that. I mostly agree with both of them. <laughs> and uh, so, he, for, for those of you who can't read the chat room at the moment, Leeds Noobs says, less intersections equals less traffic problems. Often, yes, because you can then control how those intersections work much, much better, and, and you can take more control of traffic. However, there, there's the argument that has been made um, by some people that, and, and like I say, I somewhat agree with it, somewhat don't. I, I'm not sure. Um, that th the agent system, the artificial intelligence used in uh, some city for the people to figure out, you know, where the hell they're going, um, and, you know, find a job when you need a job, find shops when you want to shop, blah, 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 um, that that works better with more intersections because it then has more choices. 
So, that's the distinction is really up to you. <clears throat> you kind of make your own decision there. I choose to do what I feel like doing and dealing with it. So, <laughs> this basically means I'm, I'm going to put down whatever the hell I want and uh, I'll make it work uh, when I feel like it. <laughs> and hello, View and Alpha. Let's see, I'm thinking I like this. Maybe I'll go back a little bit. Like here, or here. Let's see how close this is. Alright, now I think at least, like, you know, a truck could clear it. That I'm okay with. And didn't do too bad a job with the ramp up. Alright. I wouldn't be so annoyed with SimCity's auto road layouts if they weren't so shitty. <laughs> Most of the time when you lay a road, it just sucks. It's like this is... This is livable, but... Alright, let's see if I can fix it. Sometimes... That's a little better. It's most of a slope. Sometimes you can get this to, to just slope into where you want it to go nicely, but sometimes it's a pain in the ass. Like now. You know, it's, it's really being a pain in the ass now. <laughs> Alright, fine. We will just do what we were going to do. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Did you see this? Seriously. <laughs> oh, yes, Vue Alpha. Flex Trance is very good at SimCity. I watch him all the time. In fact, I'm just uh, finishing up his Let's Play series. Square. Oh, yes. Um, like this one, but this one's actually going to be a T intersection because it's going to come up and um, intersect into the intersection put up here. Definitely, uh, lead snoops. Rounding corners is uh, I, I do it all the time, and it does help traffic flow quite a bit. Road above that tunnel, not bridge. Road above the tunnel? What do you mean? Sorry, Vune Alpha is asking, uh, saying something about I should have a road, ab a road above this tunnel? Oh, like a road going across here? That would be kind of cool. Definitely enough room. Yeah. There we go. Something will work in. Let's see here. About there. Let's see if we can get a little closer. There we go. By the way, this is how you get uh, perfect half circles. You use a, you know, make sure the two roads are exactly even and, and parallel, and then just curve. It'll hit there, and it'll do something stupid like that. And you go past, and come back. And that's a perfect half circle. Now, as close to perfect as I can really get. This corner is just a little bit fudgy, but whatever. So now, if they're coming into the city this way, and they want to get up here, they can take a right. And left turn people, like people getting out of the city, I don't care. This is this is going to be have some touristy stuff, so they can stay in the city. <laughs> now this one, I think we're going to have go across. Hmm. 
here's the question. How many rows of housing do I want up here? Or whatever I'm going to do up here. It's probably going to be houses. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's, let's do this. Give me... Give me this for now. You can give me some guides. Uh, if anybody didn't know, this first guide is actually pretty much perfect for a building. The, the one that, that's always up against the the, uh, the edge of the city. And if you look, go to our tall tree row, boom! Fits, tall, fits a building, there's almost no room against the, the edge of the city. Looks good. Now, do the same thing on this side. And we'll draw our avenue. Oh, yes, view and alpha, yeah. He <laughs> uh, you, was just saying that he, that's exactly what he meant, but uh, about the, the road over the tunnel, but he had said bridge at first and then corrected himself, which kind of confused the whole thing. <laughs> All right. This is going to go out to here? Question mark? Hmm. Let's actually, let's just take this all the way out for now. Do this. And then, I kind of want this to have a big corner. Just to look cool. Oh, go away, guides. Oh, five straight roads with circles around them like a subdivision? You know, I really like that idea, Leeds Noobs. Um, but I, I want to do it somewhere that's a little bit flatter. So I will do it in the next city in this uh, this area of the region, which is like a really big flat plateau up there. And I think that'll be really cool. We'll have a chance to do a really neat design with some high wealth buildings and stuff. Because I think this city is going to be a me mixture of medium and high wealth. So, Oh, three roads, yeah. No, five would be a really big circle, but... You could do it. But yes, I love the idea. Keep that in mind for the for the next uh, city. Probably you know, four or five episodes if this city takes as long as the rest have. Anyway, we're going to uh, make this corner. And I think I want it to actually start like right up here. I'm going to make a real big corner. Oh, come on. There we go. Then I think we'll do that. Let's see how it came out. A fairly good slope up that hill. Yeah, that came out quite nice. All right. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about. Um, Leeds Noobs is saying do do like a subdivision for low and medium wealth and then have a separate one for high wealth. Um, and, and actually Leeds Noobs, the other two cities in this this area of the region that are connected by roads uh, have almost almost exclusively low wealth and some medium wealth. So these two cities are, are going to be almost exclusively low wealth and high wealth. Low wealth and high wealth. Um, but I was thinking about putting... Um, putting the high wealth up at the top of this hill um, and putting the low wealth in the, in the middle here. Um, and then, I don't know, because I want to make some touristy stuff, so I was trying to put, think about tourist stuff down here, but it's all, it's all starting to kind of come together. I'm still deciding on things, though. <laughs> View and alpha, that's, that's good. Bumpy Road Sim 2013. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> often. That's that's why I'm always checking on on the roads to try to make sure that the angles at least look decent and somewhat reasonable. <laughs> you know, this this might in real life like this is this is kind of a steep hill in real life, but you know, for Sim City, that's it's okay. It's livable. It's like this one. If I can get down there, like that's just it's like seriously, you can't drive on that. But at least it's smooth. It's not like a hard corner. Yeah, have you now? So that's the other thought I had too. Was high wealth on the beachfront, and then putting the casinos and stuff in here, and then low wealth up here. But either way, I mean, it's a tough decision. Yeah, we'll we'll play with it here. We we still got to lay the roads out. We've got our initial setup. And let's actually take this out and let's start laying these roads. So obviously most of the things in this city are going to be uh, horizontal. Uh, the roads are going to be horizontal to the way that I'm facing right now. Um, so that they all all the buildings would somewhat, you know, face the face the the ocean. The word that I cannot think of. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're going to lay our horizontal roads and then figure out uh, the connectors in between. Oh, and it looks like I've dropped 199 frames so far this stream. <laughs> That's about 0.41%. I, I think I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, if you come out of that tunnel and catch the end of your big rig on the on the <laughs> on the on the top of the tunnel. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, uh, yes, lead snoobs. I'm I'm not actually planning on putting them. Hang on, sorry, one second, phone. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yes, I, I'm not going to put the gambling near people. That's why I was thinking of putting it here, because then I'll have a cushion of um, the, the, you know, the hills and stuff um, to put gambling and... Uh, commercial and then put mostly residential down here and you know up here and also I shouldn't have any crime because I'll be using drones I think probably gonna use drones I don't know Here's this. And I'm going to draw this down here, just for now. Of course, I'll do something else with that road, but I want to. I just want to keep. I just want to know where it is. Okay, and then overlaps. <laughs> you have to go Ghostbusters. Nice. And then, oh, go away, guides again. Because we we know that we built this specifically for this. And then. And this one's there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Ooh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that's still got a ways to go. A little more. That's good. that for now. I'm not I'm not going to keep all of these connections. I'm going to redo some of them and yeah. <laughs> if you know, if there was something strange in my neighborhood, I would call Homeland Security. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, although any more you wouldn't have to call them because they would have already been notified by the NSA. So, <laughs> There we go, I just had to mute the microphone for a second and open the soda, and I didn't want it to be extremely loud next to the mic. Well, 
Let's see here. Can I fit this under here? Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. Like that, and then straight out. That's kind of cool. We'll, we'll, fit, we'll do something with that. Well, wait, you're in Canada? Yeah, you don't have any NSA, but you don't have any Homeland Security either, do you? Or does, does Canada have a Department of Homeland Security? I thought that was a USA-only thing. So if you have one, sorry. I'm not, I'm not really a politics guy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought that was just something that, you know, you know stupid Americans did. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like America, it's just, there's always, it's like everything, you know, it's like you're always most critical of yourself, I'm always most critical of my own country, because <laughs> I know we can do better. And this NSA shit is just, just ridiculous. There we go. Now... Can I have something flat, please? Seriously? <laughs> Alright, let's try it there, and then let's come out. There. <laughs> Hashtag Merka! <laughs> no, that wasn't the- that wasn't what I meant, Leets Noobs. That- I didn't mean that only in America do we have national security. I meant I thought that we called it Homeland Security in America, and nobody else called it that. That's the only thing. I thought everybody had a different name. Yeah, see, it's, it's like Canadian Security Intelligence Agency. It does. It has a different name. But yeah, I, I understand what you mean. It's your... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So this is, like, really weird, but I mostly just wanted to keep the the line and maybe this bridge. And we'll do something else over here or something. Then... Then let's start figuring out what we're going to do down here. Because this is going to be a line. And I think I'm going to take this straight through the mountain. Over here. Yeah, I like that. Because then we can just leave this in. And there's nothing really zoned on it, so people are going to use it as a, a thoroughfare. Let's see if I can straighten out that little bit of road weirdness there. There we go. Because that one I'm probably going to leave in. I like that one. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to actually do this. Because if I'm going to put casinos over here, some of them are big. Maybe I'll do this. And I, and I do want the casinos right on the avenue, whereas I, I don't normally zone right on the avenue. Um. Wait, Leeds Noobs, so this guy got raided for growing catnip? 
<laughs> Who does that? Like, first of all, who just grows catnip as a hobby? I mean, we, we bought one of the little, you know, they have those little planter box things that, that have the little pre-planted catnip in it. You know, we, we bought one of those for our cats once, but they didn't even like it, so. I mean, like, I, I just don't understand growing your own catnip to sell. That's, okay. I guess somebody's got to do it. That's not actually going to connect like that normally, I think. So I think most of our hotels should fit in here. With their extensions and everything, yeah. Whereas they probably wouldn't have fit in the other one. Um, and this is what I want. Yeah, see, they wouldn't have fit in a single one. But now they can fit with extensions. Which is great. All right. Now, we're going to zone this lower, or uh, lay out this lower area, where, so far, the suggestion has been, and I love it, high wealth. So, does this actually, ooh, that might actually be interesting. I wonder if it'll cause problems. But that would be a good way for people to get uh, into this area. We'll do two of these back to back here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little. There we go. Take this out to somewhere about here. And... Oh, that's going to require us to make a bridge. Man, I was hoping to be able to zone a couple houses right up, right up against it. Bridge works, though. I could do a bridge there. See, it gives me this nice long slope going up to it, but coming off of the bridge gives me nothing. He was raided because he kept partying during the day. Oh, okay, yeah. Basically, he got raided because he was an asshole. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yes, uh, Vuen. The reason that what I do is I do one tree row here because then I can have, you know, a high-density building between the avenue and this first uh, high-density road. And then I do two tree rows here so I can have two back to back. Um, it's just the way I've, I've always done it. I don't know if anybody like came up with that first. Uh, I mean, not that I care to have either, but it's just the way that I do it, and it's probably a pretty good way. <laughs> and we could do that as well, because that's just a straight right hand turn, no problem. Yeah. You know, Leeds Noobs, I can I can totally curve this to, to match the shoreline, but then I can't fit two high-density buildings here. That's, that's my problem. <laughs> that's, that's really the problem that I'm having. Let me see, let me see what I can do with this. Because if I get it close enough... Oh, come on.
If I get it close enough, I might be able to make the curve work here. Yeah. I think that's how it's going to have to work. Let's see here. This is probably the highest point. And yeah, we're over by quite a bit. Damn. I thought I, I thought I had it closer than that. I don't, I, I, you know, uh, actually Vune Alpha, it would be a low density and a high, because the medium density buildings take up the same amount of space as a high density. Um, no, you know what, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna take this out, and we're gonna end up putting a, um, we need to put one of these, or a couple of these in down here, uh, these things. So that's going to come up way far. And so we're going to have to put another one over here. That is true, Vune Alpha. It's better than nothing. So I think what we're actually going to do here is we're going to put one of these here. Because I, I need to work with these roads as well. Because I forgot about this. I'm going to put one of these... Hmm... I guess right... here? Right here? It's a little farther out than I wanted it, but... Because then it doesn't matter, the road is going to go like this. <laughs> This one, I need to be in a different place. Because I want the corner of this road to come into the corner of this road so that I can make a, at least a decent curve. Like that. And then we'll bring this in like this. this over here, and in like that. There we go. So yes, we will we will only be able to fit a high density, maybe a high and a low, but we have our two um, ferry terminals in over here, and because this is also going to be a tourist gambly sort of city, oh, signs, we'll do uh, a third ferry terminal over here. Wow. Alright, we don't have a lot of options, so... <laughs> right there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess, I guess that corner is okay. It's not amazing, but... It'll work. And now I don't think that I'm gonna do... Hmm, see I could put an airport in this city too. But there's an airport right there, so... <laughs> you see. If I was gonna do one, it would be over here. And that would actually make a lot of sense. So yeah, let's do an airport over here. I 
And then I don't think we're going to bother bringing that road down. So I think I want the airport pretty much right down here. Maybe right here. And something I actually saw, uh, speaking of flux trans, uh, as we were earlier, something I saw him do that I thought looked pretty good is placing two of these and then demolishing this one. Because then you have some spacing between them and they look a little bit more like real ru runways. Although, on this particular map, because of the uneven terrain, <coughs> and the slightly uneven terrain, I don't know. It doesn't look quite as good. Yeah, I don't particularly like it on this one. Normally it looks better because they're, they're spaced out a little bit more, but on this map, or on this city tile, whatever, it just doesn't look very good. Oh yes, lead snoobs. I know, definitely know not to build a residential near the airports. Uh, in, in fact, it's very good though to build um, casinos and stuff by the airports. So, I'm gonna put one of you. Uh, I'm put you right there. I'm going to do something more special. Private jets. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's put one of these in. Uh, whoops. There we go. Now we have that in. Where is our. Oh, okay. I was looking for our railroad, but we don't have any in this city. It's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Okay, well, we will do this sans railroad. <laughs> that means, I guess, the only other thing is we can put streetcars in. Which... I don't know that I need to. Maybe I will. Undecided on streetcars. They can go in at any time, though, because they don't require a specific spot. And, um... And this other airship hangar. Which is also going to go down here. Um... Somewhere in here. Maybe I'll do it on this side, and then I'll put the expansion and see. People are going to be commuting from this expansion. Oh, a little statue by the airport. That's a good idea. I'm I'm sure I can find something. Um, let me figure out where I want to put this, though. Let's see, because these are going to be commuters, so... I actually, I almost want to put it there just, just because I think it'll look cool. But, let's see, these are going to be high-wealth commuters, or even here. That would, that would look really cool to have it right here, because then you have airships just, like, landing in the middle of this intersection, but it's rather unre unrealistic. <laughs> Um, there's not going to be, I guess most of the people that would be commuting into this city to work would be commuting in right here, or out of this city to work somewhere else would be coming out from down here if it's going to be high wealth. So I guess we'll just put it up, up over here. It's something I didn't think about, though. It might be nice. 
All right, well, we're going to probably have to waste a bunch of money and move this airport. Just a little bit. Hello, Brandon. One, two, three, Brandon. One, two, three. <laughs> Welcome to the street. Uh, right now, I'm building this residential city on uh, Ceylon Steps. I'm actually just working on the lo road, uh, the load layout, the road layout. Uh, oh, and I forgot. I needed that stub end. Because I need to know where that goes. And then... Maybe we don't... Maybe we just do this. And say that that's the end of it. And one of these. I'm going to put this in right here. And expand it. And put one of these. There. <laughs> uh, no, I don't use TeamSpeak, Leets Noobs. Uh, I. I don't really uh, do a lot of voice chatting at all, to be honest. Ooh, I hate that that's the bridge. I wonder if I can make this work. There we go. Wow, I got lucky on that one. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so then we can put this in, and we'll just do it right here. Right here? Right here. If I can get away with it, I think we're going to have the other cities take care of garbage. What do we have for power? There's just some power in the region. There's not much water, though, so I'm going to have to take care of my own water in this city. Which means I might as well take care of my own sewage. And this actually looks like a pretty good spot to do that, to do both. Let's actually let's take this road out, and then and then we'll put the we'll put this in. Uh, let me see the water thing again. And then we will put this in. And I think we just want it like this. There we go. And then we'll put the water right on it, obviously. And then these should all be clean up here and go out like this. There, now hopefully that gets enough water, and if not, I believe I can fit one of these. Oh, I can only fit it there. Hmm. I was hoping I could fit it a little closer, but I may be able to make that work. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see if I need it. I probably won't.
now I should figure out. Oh, and see, the problem with this now is that this actually dips down. It didn't look as good as I thought it did. I guess that's just how it's going to be. Because it doesn't want to draw in any other way. <laughs> yeah, at least noobs, the, the idea, and, and I don't know if you have ever seen this idea, and I'm sure you have, it, it's a pretty standard uh, uh, thing in SimCity now, um, is unlimited water here, because the sewage treatment plant, as it treats sewage, will add to the water table. And then, obviously, if you put it right next to here, then boom, you have water. So now that we have this laid out, let's start thinking of how we want to do some other things here. There's not a lot of ways when people get into the city that they can get off here and... I may even take this out and connect it somewhere else. Because I don't know if I want people getting off there come down like right at the beginning of the city. I'm really not sure how that's gonna work. We'll have to see how, we'll, we'll have to see what people do. Um, but I'm gonna start connecting some of these middle pieces uh, up to the top parts and doing some other cool fun things with the roads hopefully. Man, ooh, what's going on there? What is that? Sometimes. Oh, if it'll actually... Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> Elite Stoops. If you, if you hadn't heard about heard of that before, I'm glad that I told you, but I'm still surprised that you hadn't heard of it. <laughs> Didn't you learn something new every day? Something like that. I wonder if I should measure this out at all. Mm, no, I don't think I'm gonna. But I do think I'm going to connect this up here. Oh, I don't think it'll let me do it over there. Yeah, because I'm hitting that road. Damn. I'm going to have to go all the way over? I don't want to do that. I wonder if I take this bridge out and place it afterwards. If I can make it work. What about there? Oh, and it's not digging under this way. Kind of like the whole bridge to tunnel thing. It looks cool. I guess I'm going to have to go all the way up. But I should be able to do that, and then come around this way, and, uh... Oops. Let me let this back and come over the top of it like that. And in fact, it makes the it makes everything work out much smoother. Um, imagine that. Alright, cool. Boom. Almost cool. I need to fix this. I feel a little like Don Quixote. Trying to fix these roads, you know, tilting at windmills. But I just want these roads to look nice. Is that so much to ask, really? Instead of lumpy and bullshitty like they are doing? <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, because that's even better. Jesus. See, I gotta fix one little thing. <laughs> And I'm having to basically manually terraform this whole stupid road. That was quite what I wanted either. Okay, so I got a sort of a smooth cliff there. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Whatever. Don't care. I'm done. I'm done messing with it. <laughs> uh... Anyway, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Leeds Noobs. So what can I do? The stupid inclines that, that you would think that the road would just smoothly lay on them. But that's okay. What am I pressing to change the layout when I have it in the green? Oh, uh, M and N. I believe that that's what you mean, where I uh, raise and lower the roads. Uh, M, M raises and N lowers. So if I do something like this, and I hit M, goes up into a bridge. Or N, as in Nancy, goes down into a tunnel. So. <laughs> if... Anybody has suggestions for a name, let me know. You can leave them in the YouTube comments, because we're going to call this the end of the video for the night. We're actually a couple minutes over our hour. Um, probably, I might do another stream tonight. We'll see how it goes. Um, see what's going on for dinner and stuff. Um, but basically, yeah, this is going to kind of turn into a pretty cool city. So we'll finish up the road layout. <clears throat> excuse me, finish up the road layout next episode. If you want to catch that live, go ahead and follow me on Twitch, and you'll be notified when I go live. And if you want to watch this stuff afterwards or catch up on the whole series, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I always post everything over there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.